Welcome back. November is celebrated globally as Disability Awareness Month. The international theme proclaimed by the United Nations for this year is removing barriers to create an inclusive and accessible society for all. The month offers an opportunity for every single person and institution to remove these barriers and to improve the quality of life of people with disabilities through concrete action. For more on the topic, we're joined by the Director General in the Department of Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities, Advocate Mikateko Joyce Maluleka. DG, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and good morning to the listeners. Now, DG, what's the purpose of Disability Awareness Month? Um, the purpose of the Disability Awareness Month is to raise awareness on the plight of persons with disabilities. It is ran from the 3rd of November to the 3rd of December. The 3rd of December is International Day of Persons with Disabilities. It doesn't mean that on the, between the 3rd of November and the 3rd of December, that's when people start acting. You act throughout the year, but between this month, then you raise awareness and highlight the implementation or the actions that you have implemented in order to ensure that the rights of persons with disabilities are uh, um, realized. Yeah, and I suppose more awareness needs to be raised, DG, with regards to the terminology and the wording, uh, you know, because some people refer to people living with disabilities as disabled, and I found that very, you know, disparaging as it were, because it suggests that they can't do anything, yet uh, I, I suppose the correct term should be people living with disabilities. So is there any awareness being raised with regards to how uh, we refer to people living with disabilities? Um, yes, but I think you're correct. I think we are not doing enough because even the term people with disabilities, they they do not like it. They say they are persons with disabilities. Okay. Uh, disabled persons, they say it means they're disabled. Mm. It doesn't mean that mm. they're disabled. They have some a disability, a, a, a disability yes. but they can think because disabled persons means they can't think, they can't do work, they can't learn, they can't do anything. Right, right. Now, throughout the year, DG, what's been done to improve the lives of, uh, you know, people living with disabilities? Um, from the Department of Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities, our mandate is to monitor, evaluate, and uh, ensure that all government departments in whatever form of work that they do, yeah. whether it be the Department of Justice, whether it be human settlement, they must mainstream persons with disabilities. For example, when you build a house and you do not include a ramp, you put the stairs, how do you think a person with disabilities will be able to go into that house and you're building a house for that person? But also inside the house, you need to build it in such a way that somebody with a wheelchair will be able to walk around, will be able also to use a, a loo. And, and most of the time, when you look at the houses that are being built, they are not uh, catered for that. Persons with disabilities sometimes can't even go to justice because of the accessibility in those areas. So we monitor that. We ensure that all the MTSF, um, medium-term strategic framework of government, mainstream persons with disabilities. Yeah, you've just mentioned, uh, you know, the promotion of disability awareness in the workplace. In schools, how do we educate children and sort of create a safe environment for them? That is one of the biggest challenges because children with disabilities sometimes do not start school at the same time or at the same age with the other children. They, when other children start at six, some of them start at nine or 11 or 15 years because of the challenges that they experience, either in terms of lack of access to a, a wheelchair or lack of access to other assistive devices. Um, that creates a lot of, of, of problems. And more especially, the fact that our education system started doing virtual now during uh, COVID-19 before they didn't, but also now, it wasn't real a, a virtual education like other schools. So many children uh, suffer. If our education system had a virtual education system, even children with disabilities would be able to learn from home. 
I mean, how do we, uh, you know, improve the awareness of disability men? I mean, how can Disability Awareness Month be improved in terms of raising awareness and in terms of getting all the stakeholders to come together and uh, ensure that the lives of the people or persons living with disabilities are improved? I think th 30 days or 31 days is very little. Um, as a department, also, I will accede to that, that maybe we we do communicate, but maybe we are not communicating enough because we should communicate 365 days a year so that when we culminate into the 30 days, the dream, week, uh, the dream month, everybody knows that they should be working on this private sector, government, civil society organization, because everyone has a responsibility. It's not just government. Even the people who live with persons with disabilities have an, a responsibility to raise awareness so that people understand um, dis uh, disability and understand uh, the, 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 the implications of other people. If they don't understand it, whatever they do, it, end up, it ends up being uh, biased against persons with disabilities. Have sufficient support structures been established at, uh, well, in particular at the community level and have social workers been capacitated enough to deal with the people or the persons living with disabilities? I think social workers that are in government have been capacitated. However, we know that um, they are not enough. There's a shortage of social workers employed by government. Um, uh, we need to facilitate or empower not just social workers, but the communities, because the communities can help. Uh, let me just give you an example. Uh, most people with disabilities suffer. They, they can't go to work because they complain that if you're on a wheelchair, uh, taxis don't stop for you. And you find that our mm -hmm. buses, sometimes they're not designed uh, 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 to accommodate persons with disabilities. So there are many challenges that affect persons with disabilities that all of us need to be aware of that so that we're able to empower persons with disabilities. You've just diagnosed the problem, DG, but uh, I mean, are th is there any clear and concrete action? I mean, with so many public places still not appropriate or not accommodative to people with disabilities, for instance, you've mentioned the taxis, uh, which wouldn't stop for people living with a disability and, uh, for instance, township malls, churches, uh, what do you have planned or what has been done to improve these spaces? Uh, the, the parliament, parliament has, no, sorry, cabinet has approved the reasonable accommodation framework and it has been gazetted um, this year. So the department is in the process of coming up with a framework to be able to, a, 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 a simplified framework to ensure that it communicates with everyone, government, private sector, churches, civil society, everybody else, because the, that framework outlines what needs to be done in order to ensure that persons with disabilities are accommodated in government, in terms of services, in terms of accessing government buildings, in terms of access even on the streets. Uh, some of the streets, uh, uh, wheelchairs can walk, some of them, they can't walk. In townships, it's even worse, because now that they are shakes, you find that checks are built on, on top of the pavement. That means a, a person on a wheelchair must drive the wheelchair on the streets, which also is dangerous because they could also be knocked um, uh, by cars. All right, DG, lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Well, South Africa commemorates National Disability Rights Awareness Month annually between the 3rd of November and the 3rd of December. We just spoke to the Director General in the Department of Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities, Advocate Mikateko Joyce Maluleke.